Hi Ellie's! Hi dreamers, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 readings. Gonna tell what's going on with you and your energy for the next 40 hours and what's going on with homeboy, home girl. All right, and their energy for the next 48 hours. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure that you give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, Aries. Helps my channel grow and also helps this get out to other Aries like you who need to hear this important message, okay? Make sure you're dropping a moon down the description box down below for Dream Tarot. And subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Also, Aries, keep in mind this is a general reading. It cannot and probably will not resonate with all the Aries who watch this, even though I hope it does. But if it doesn't, I'm so sorry. If it does and you like my vibe, um, in the description box is where you can find to book a personal reading with me. Also, if you want to follow any of my social media, um, being my Instagram pages, because that's the only social media I really have, um, you can find that in the description box down below. If you want to support my candle business, um, I'll show you. Sorry, I'm trying to shuffle my cards, but it's not working out that well. <laughs> if you want to support my candle business, it'll be the first link in the description box. This is my newest dream candle right here. It's called Prophetic. This is a this is a favorite, guys. Um, I actually formulated this. It took months to formulate it, and it smells like a very luxurious um fragrance a unisex fragrance it smells very wealthy and i love it and it looks very wealthy as well it has howlite and um gold flakes Whew. that smells so good guys i'm not just playing with you guys um i wish i could put my stats on my website so you guys can see but that's a favor right there okay so if you want to support my candle business i have tons of candles on there it'll be the first link in the description box if you want to see what i have what i'm working with okay <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started with your reading, Aries. I'm very, very sorry that the video is um, taking so long to come out. Um, I actually lost a cat last week, so it's been very hard on me, guys. I'm an animal lover. I really am. I love animals. Cats, dogs, any animal. Horses, squirrels, deer, anything, really. I, fish, okay? <laughs> And it really took a big toll on me, and I'm just now starting to, like, heal complete, not completely, I won't lie to you guys, but I'm starting to heal enough to be able to face you guys on camera and not be so sad. So, I'm so sorry that these are coming out late, but one promise I'm going to make to you guys is that I'm going to post your second video of the month this week. So, you're going to get double readings this week. So, woohoo! Yeah, raise the roof, right? The song starting off your reading was Lockdown. So wherever you are living right now, Aries, you could be on lockdown for COVID. Let me tell you something. Where I live, you can take a wild guess where I live. Leave it in the comment section. Where I live, we have never been on lockdown. Well, I'm lying. When COVID first started, yes. But it was only for a couple months and that's it. And we've been open. So fuck you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You guys know I have to start the reading crazy, but where I live, lockdown is like, what is a lockdown? I don't know what a lockdown is, but where you live, you might be on lockdown right now. Like people have to quarantine when they come to your city, okay? So let's pull a, let's pull a daily message for my Aries, I almost called you Aqua, for my Aries for the next 48, okay? Okay, Namaste is coming out for you, my Aries. And then this just came out too, so I'm gonna read both. Namaste. The sleigh in me recognizes the sleigh in you. Ooh, that's cute. I love that, Aries. Namaste, okay? All right, at some point, you got to give, get up and act like the people you admire. Okay, so if you have an idol, Aries, really take on that idol. It's not being, um, what's the word? It's not like you're just copying someone or just being up their ass or being like a fan. It's really just seeing, you are drawn to people. The reason that you are drawn to people and you like people and you think like, okay, this is my idol or I'm really drawn to this person, I'm a fan, is because you like some attrib attributes about this person. So why don't you take on those same attributes and live it into your regular life? Because if you are a fan of this person because of those items, you can naturally bring that into your own life and be a fan of yourself. That's why I see this card is telling you, like for you to be so supportive of other people because of certain things that you like about them, why don't you put that into your life and you'll be a big fan of yourself? 
You probably know someone who is slaying at life right now. Spend today hitting... Oh, sorry. I'm not reading this right. Spend today doing the shit they do. Better yet, take them to coffee and... Okay, so if you know this person, take them to coffee and ask them how exactly they managed to slay so hard. Ooh, I just want to snap. Like, yes, you know? Then recognize where you are capable of the same kind of slay. Okay, Aries. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Aries is actually texting me right now, so it's like sentimental you know okay anyway <laughs> all right vibrate so high this is your second message vibrate so high that toxic people fall back because they no longer know how to approach you Ooh, aries so you're letting go of some toxic ass people who are your friends your family lovers you're just like get the fuck out of my life okay Know how you can tell you're on to some hardcore personal growth. Your perspective gets bigger and your inner circle gets smaller. It may be that people want to gossip. Quit texting when you stop talking shit. Okay, so people who want to gossip with you, they're not hitting you up anymore. Why? Because you are... This happened to me as well, guys. I hate gossipers. I hate them. You know, I hate them. I hate them. I'm sorry. I, okay, everybody gossips, right? So I can say I gossip too, but I, I don't talk, sh I don't talk about people because I feel like whatever someone's doing that you don't like, we all do that shit. Like, I literally feel that way. Like, I have someone who's in my, um, what's it called? <sighs> your, your, you know, your family who's in, like, your, what is it called? I can't even think about it right now, Aries. I don't know why I'm, I'm like, getting, like, a blonde right now. I literally have someone who's in my circle who I love to death, but they gossip so much and I always just like ignore them or I, I just look at them dirty because I hate gossip because I'm like, whatever someone's doing that you're gossiping about, you're you're probably doing the same thing. All right, anyway, let's, this is not about me. This is about you, Aries. If you're busy manifesting your dreams, keeping your side of the street clean and working on those old gnarly wounds that people want to avoid in themselves, some people are bound to disappear. Okay, so whenever you're going through your spiritual awakening, whenever you are manifesting for yourself, whenever you're trying to better yourself, there's people who are going to leave your life. And you're like, why are these people leaving my life? Well, why do people gossip? I'm going to let you answer that. I'm not going to speak. Okay. Okay, anyway, um, be kind to yourself and to others as you outgrow people and places, okay? So you're losing some people in your life, Aries, but it's really for the betterment of you. You're, like, excelling. These people are staying in the same place. You can't take everybody with you, okay? All right, anyway, let's see what's going on with my Aries for the next 40 hours. Love my Aries. Double Up is playing right now by such a prominent king, okay? Um, by Nipsey Hussle. And I forget what his sign is, but some of you guys, enlighten me. Tell me in the comment section, what is Nipsey Hussle's sign? That could be someone who you're dealing with, okay? Because I know he's not an Aries. I know that for sure, but I know he's something else. I don't know if he's Aquarius or a Leo. Leave it in the comment section down below. But yeah, Nipsey is an idol for sure, right? We can follow him because he was a woke king. And I mean, so much things. I don't want to talk too much about him, but anyway... Double up. It's time to double up. A lot of people can't double up with you, okay? All right, anyway, let's see what's going on in my Aries for the next 48 hours. What's going on in my Aries for the next 48 hours, please? All right, the Nine of Wands. Okay, okay. so people are arguing around you, Aries, and you hate it. You really hate this. This could be your, this could be your siblings. This could be your parents. This could be your family members. I feel like this is someone who's really close to you, so it could even be your friends. People are arguing around you. You really hate it. You you wish that you didn't have to see this. You're also very, you're struggling inside. But you're, with the strength card being here, you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries. But I feel like, um, you could also be dealing with the Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. But this could simply be your energy. I feel like people are arguing around you and you're trying to just be strong about it. Like you're acting like it doesn't bother you, but it really bothers you. It really bothers you. It triggers you. And also, you're a loner right now, the Hermit card. So you haven't really been doing much. You've been staying inside. You could even be a homebody with the Hermit card. But you know this is all a part of your spiritual awakening. So you're really going through the worst right now. Let me say something. When I first started my spiritual awakening and I started...
playing with tarot and stuff, I was going through the toughest time and it's not easy, but it's well needed. And I just, that's all I will say to you, Aries, okay? It's very well needed. If you want to know more, if you want to talk to me, you can hit me up on my social media. We can talk, but it's very well needed. So whatever you're going through right now, while you're going through your awakening or while you're in hermit mode is very well needed because it's going to really bring out the best in you. And I just want you to know that, okay? All right, give me the nine of wands. So I feel like some of my Aries are going through spiritual awakenings. And it's like, oh my God, what is going on? Because when you think about a spiritual awakening, you're like, oh my God, this is great. This is supposed to be uplifting. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not, okay? What's the nine of wands, please? So I can have some Aries who are new to tarot watching me. So hello, welcome. We are an uplifting community here at Dream Tarot. We uplift each other. We learn from each other. We're researchers here. We are teachers here and students. I'm a student and a teacher, and you will be too as well, okay? But I don't know about any other place because there is, you know, just with everything, there's good and bad. But here is a safe place, okay? Anyway, what's the nine of wands? <laughs> I feel like some Aries are new to this shit, but you're going to be true to this shit, okay? Nine of wands, please. <laughs> If you're wondering if everybody in the spirituality community is as corny as me, they're not. So don't worry. It's just me. But you'll come back, you know? All right. The Eight of Wands is here. The Five of Pentacles and the Justice card. Okay. So whoever's arguing around you that's making you really stressed out, it's like an everyday thing. Eight of Wands. This happens a lot. And it really stresses you out. It may, I feel like also, Aries, you're very empathetic. And a lot of people would not think that about Aries. When people think about fire signs, Aries is probably the most aggressive fire sign that people think. But people don't know that you guys are very sensitive creatures. You guys are very empathetic. And so you have the five of um, pentacles here. So you are very worried about whoever's been arguing around you. It really makes you think a lot. It makes you worry. This could even be the world. Maybe you, you're a loner because you are the hermit card. So maybe you have no one around you, but it's just like the world. You see the world is at like war with each other. It's kind of like you're envisioning the World War Four before it's even happening. Like you think so far into the future. You can have Aquarius highly aspected, okay? But it's just like um you, you envision like the world is fighting with each other. It really stresses you out like watching the news stresses you out but you still watch it every day you know because you want to stay in tune but it stresses you out and you just want world peace with the justice card here let's clarify what's the eight of um, wands please okay the eight of wands is the fool card so somebody definitely could have aquarius highly aspected or dealing with an aquarius and you also have the four of cups so you've been staying to yourself you're very much a loner right now aries and that's not you at all you're very extroverted you're very um social but you haven't been and it's because so many things have been happening in your life at once i feel like you have you're dealing with a lot of shit at once a lot of things are coming into your life very quickly it's part of your awakening i want you to know if you're new here if you're new to this shit but you're about to be true to this shit just know a lot of shit's gonna be hitting you at once when you're going through your awakening so I welcome you and I'm here for you. Also, you have the full card as well here, right? So you're really just taking risk here. You're just doing things that make you happy and you're trusting in spirit. Aries, I want you to know right now is the time to manifest. I just told us the Pisces as well. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, but right now is the time to manifest for you. You have the full card. I feel like whatever you dive into, you're just your faith is so strong in God and the universe and your spirit, guys, that whatever you want is going to come true because... The thing about manifestation, people have to really believe. It's kind of like having a fairy godmother. And if you don't believe in fairy godmother, you're like, oh, that's a bunch of bullshit. Nothing's going to come true for you. But if you believe that anything that you ask your fairy godmother to come true, it happens. And I feel like that's your energy right now, Aries. Like you believe anything that you want could really happen. You're, you're dreaming so far, so big that I really want you to keep that childlike energy because it's kind of like childlike right if you think about grown-ups they're like oh we're so serious we can't dream no keep dreaming because those dreams are going to bring your manifestations in so manifest right now if you don't know how to manifest literally just get a piece of paper and write to your spirit guides or to god and i want you to write as if the things already happened so say i want a big house right say i want a big house i'm going to be specific and i'm going to write I'm going to be specific. I'm also going to write as if it happened. So example, I'm going to write to God. Thank you so much for this five bedroom house with the garden tub, with the garden in the back, with the pool in the back, with um, marble counters in the kitchen. 
with plush white carpet around the house but also hardwood floors around the house and a basement and a wonderful attic that's already finished. Like you're going to be so specific and you're going to act like it already happened. Thank you for this item, even though you're manifesting it. Thank you for this item that has all of these qualities that you want or all these, um, you know, things that you want in them. That's how you manifest something. So if you're, if you're like, oh my God, I never manifest, manifested before, make sure that you're being specific and make sure you're writing to God or to spirit or whoever or the universe whoever you believe in that it already happened that's how you manifest and then you forget about it you write it and then you forget about it you act you, i usually do it three times so that i can keep it in my mind so i know that oh i manifested this so when it comes i'm like oh shit i manifested this but when you're so sure of yourself the faith that you have right now aries you can manifest anything and it will happen i think you really believe that you can really achieve anything you want and that's a wonderful feeling to have but what are you worried about what's the five of pentacles I'm sorry I'm talking so much in your reading, but Aries, like, I never felt this way during your reading before, honestly. All right, so you, there's something, okay. Aries, you're worried about two things. You're worried, it's so funny. You're worried about your future and your past. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's unheard of. I'm also questioning, are you even human? <laughs> really because you're thinking about your past and your future you're thinking about okay am i gonna be successful in the future but also thinking about the past okay people probably that you let go of you're still thinking about these people or things that happened in the past that you feel like you didn't do the best in you're still thinking about this you're conflicted right now it's really fucking up your head okay what's the justice card we have to hurry up because i'm ready 16 minutes in all right the three of pentacles is here with the justice card so you just need to talk to someone about this as well you don't see that you're going to get... Okay, so you're going through your awakening right now, Aries. You don't see that things are going to work out in your favor. My hair is shedding, of, of course. You don't see that you're going to get justice in this. Things are going to work out in your favor. You're kind of just being blind to this, but you're still having faith in it. Maybe you just need to talk to someone about this. So I feel like you're going to meet someone that you're going to be able to talk to about this, and they're not going to judge you at all. Or if you need to reach out to me... Hit up my Instagram. I will listen to your story. I'm so interested in it, honestly. All right, the strength card. We have to move forward. We have to move forward, like, ASAP, okay? All right, the strength card. Oh, want her is playing right now? Want her is playing right now. Strength card. So you got strong feelings for someone already. You want a female? Or if you're a female, somebody wants you really bad. What's the strength card? This could be a Leo also, but it doesn't have to be this. is just be... You, you have strong feelings for someone already. The Seven of Swords is here. Hmm. You know, I also feel like how strongly you feel about someone so quick, you feel like you shouldn't feel this way. So it's the Seven of Swords. You feel like, am I getting tricked by this person? Someone's too good to be true. With the Strength card, Seven of Swords, what else? You're like, uh, I don't know. Someone's your Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's your Queen of Pentacles. You're dealing with two people. You're dealing with two people, Aries. You're dealing with the Queen of Swords. Someone who's just like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about yourself, Aries. Female or male, you're dealing with a King or Queen of Swords. You're dealing with the Swords royalty, King or Queen, right? This person, you and them are over with, and they're being really cold to you. But you still have strong feelings for this person. You still care about them. Then you have the Queen or King of Pentacles that you are thinking logically about six of swords. So there's someone in your life. I feel like the queen of swords, king of swords is someone that you dealt with in the past. Your queen or king of pentacles is someone that you put on high pedestal and you're just like, whoa, this person's too good to be true. And you're trying to think logically, like let me not fall too fast for this person, which is something that you're not usually to do. So the fact that you even have feelings to think like, okay, let me fall for this person is making you like, wow, let me just take a step back. You're trying to be very logical, like an air sign. You're thinking very much like an air sign. Like, oh my God, let me just step back. This could be a Leo. This could be a Ari, um, Aquarius, sorry, not Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be any of those signs, but this could be someone who's your top pick. Whoever's your top pick right now, you're trying to be very logical about how you think about this person because you don't want to fall too fast. Wow. Okay, and then you have the Queen of Swords. Air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or just someone who's being really cold towards you. You and this person are done. Death card, or you guys ended things recently. This could even be a Scorpio, okay? They're very upset with you at the moment. 
All right, you have the hermit card here too. So you're a loner right now. You're a homebody. I forget whose reading that was. That was a reading that I did not recent. It could be Aquarius. You could have been done with Aquarius because they had somebody who was a homebody. But I feel like that's you, Aries. You're a homebody right now. So what's the hermit card? Nothing wrong with being a homebody, honestly. Honestly, but don't be it too long, you know? Don't be it so long. All right, the seven of wands, okay? Being at home showed you what you're very, what you're so passionate about. The seven of wands is being passionate about something you stand for, you fight for. It's kind of like being a protester. It's kind of like the Black Lives Matter movement, right? That's what I think about when I think of the seven of wands. I think of, oh my God, we're not going to stand down. We're going to keep fighting, whatever. And I'm sorry if you're white, but if you're white and you're woke, if you're going through a spiritual awakening, you're woke and you're a white person, you know, you're invited to the cookout, okay? But just bring the rolls, okay? Nothing else. Just bring the rolls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will try your food, white people. There's a lot of white people who know how to cook, and I'm here for it. But I'm just saying, if you're a white person, you're woke. I'm sorry this analogy probably doesn't resonate with you. But I know if you're woke and you're not insecure, you can listen to this. So I always think about the Black Lives Matter movement with the Seven of Wands. It's kind of like, okay, we I stand for this cause. I mean it, right? And so... It's like you found a lot of passions when you were in hermit mode. You found a lot of things that you stand for that you... It's like you found a lot of hobbies that it's your thing. And you feel victorious about this? Wow. So you really, really, really support these new hobbies of yourself. You're your biggest supporter right now, Aries. You don't even know that, but you are, which is great because you should always be. Your confidence is so high that you're... First of all, Aries are confident motherfuckers no matter what. But the fact that your confidence is so high about this is really like admirable. What's this? What's the seven of wands? White people, we love you. We love a woke white person, okay? I love the white people on my channel, okay? So just saying, if you're Aries and you're a white person, or even if you're a cross watcher, I love you, okay? Mm, that's a kiss for you, okay? All right, anyway, the seven of wands is a six of pentacles, okay? So whatever you're you're like learned about, whatever you're trying, you're standing so hard for, you're, you're, I also see someone giving to a charity, so it's like you're so bored at home. Yes, I'm going to tell, I'm going to talk the real, realness of this. You're so bored at home. You're willing to spend your money on whatever you support. So this could be a business that you support that you found while you were just being a homebody. Or this could be a charity. You're literally giving your money to this thing because you really support this person or you support this business. And you're committed to this. You're committed to this. Okay, so you become an activist overnight while being a homebody. Okay, I like that. What's the six, what's the six of wands? All right, by doing this also, by do, okay, you're very passionate about this. You have the, the hangman, but it's new vision. So you have a new vision. It's like you picked up a whole different ideology while you've been in lockdown. Okay, so the, the quarantine has been really good on your soul. Okay, I just want to say that. But you're letting go of past things because you're so invested in your own hobbies or things that you're... Like, I don't know. The high priestess is here, too. It's, like, spiritual. Like, you're going through a spiritual awakening and you're having all these new hobbies and new um, interests that you're really invested in and you love this shit. Okay, let's hurry up and move on to your homeboy, homegirl. Aries, I never felt this way about your readings. I have to just be honest. I never felt... And also, the tower card just showed itself to me, too. So, it's like, whatever ending happened, it pushed you into this new you. And the new you is so... Sexy. I love it. <laughs> I love this new you, Aries. I, I have to say, I really do, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl. Whoever you've been dealing with recently, you know, let's see what's going on with them. It looks like you're doing good. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You went through this bullshit with them, but guess what? You're handling it like a boss. You know you are the emperor card. You're handling it like a true boss that you are, emp I mean, I mean emperor, empress, because you are. But you're handling it like a true boss, like you are. I mean, I don't know why I expected anything different, but I'm so surprised. All right, let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl. It's late, guys, too, so I'm very delirious right now. So I just want you guys to know it's late. I get delirious when it's late. When it's time, when it's close to my bedtime, I get a little loony, okay? So I'm sorry. But I think you guys will be able to handle it. And there's some great messages in this reading for you, Aries. So let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. What's going on with your homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours? Five of Swords. So somebody just wants to argue. But you, I feel like, okay, okay. Hmm. 
let me say something. The last time you spoke to this person that you loved, Aries, it was a bad argument. This could even be in front of y'all children. I feel like you and this person have children together. Y'all could, right? Or y'all spoke about this, right? So it's just, okay, if you don't have children with this person, disregard this message. But if you do, you, you guys, the last argument you guys had was in front of children. It was bad. The children, let me tell you something about children. My parents were never together when I was growing up. My biological father and my mom was never together. My mom did a really good job of not bringing just, you know, random guys around me. But whatever. I just want to say this. I know this about children is that they absorb. They're like sponges. They absorb everything. So if you're arguing in front of your child and you're cursing and you're like going in on someone and bringing a lot of negativity or even if this person's doing that to you Aries and you just have to respond just know that your children see that and it's very detrimental on them very much so I just want you to know that I know some of you guys are like I don't even want to talk about that but I just want you guys to know that because some of your children are going to be affected by the arguments that you and this person had now if you don't have children it's just you and this person had bad arguments that just made you feel like it really made you feel small or it made you feel like shit, really. It really fucked you over, okay? And this person is feeling that same way too. Now this person is like moved, trying to move on from you, but everything around them reminds them of you. I just want you to know, Aries. And the Ten of Swords, this person is not doing good without you. This person is really hurting without you, even though I feel like they're the one to end things. I feel like this person ended things with you or they're like, I'm done with you, Aries. Fuck you. Don't ever, don't ever speak to me again. But they're hurting so bad about this. So it's kind of crazy. We're going to go through this quickly and then we're going to go to your extended reading, okay? Oh... It's so crazy because I cut the middle of the deck and it says Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups was in reverse. So somebody was really a cheater. And when I say cheating, it's just not like, oh, I'm stepping out, right? It's like this person did a lot of questionable things when it came to you, okay? All right, what's the, what's the Five of Swords, please? Let's just get through this because that was nasty energy. All right, the Two of Pentacles. Also, too, you and this person got into a bad argument. They called you out your name, Aries. They said some disgusting shit to you. They really, like, downplayed you, and they expect you to make a move towards them. So somebody's wondering why you're not wanting to fight for this, because maybe you've done that in the past, and you're just not doing it anymore. You're just like, fuck this shit. And this person's like, why is Aries not fighting for this? So that's what this person's wondering. Eight of Cups, please. Wow, Ace of Wands. Somebody is, like, said they want to move on from you, but they're still hurting over this and they everything they see around them is you. And they still want a second chance with you even though they crossed the line. I feel like somebody crossed their boundaries with you. Sorry, I'm just re writing something out for your title. Ace of Wands with the Five of Cups. Somebody is like, okay... I know I cursed out Aries. I know I said this this nasty shit to Aries, but why haven't they reached out to me? It's kind of weird, this person. Let's clarify this before we go on to the Ten of Swords. They're hurting really bad. I just want you to know that. What's the Two of Pentacles for the Five of Swords? What's the Two of Pentacles for the Five of Swords? All right, you have the Six of Swords here for the Two of Pentacles. Wow, so somebody's wondering that you will make a move on them even though they know that they've been a burden on you. I also feel like somebody was um, impossible to please, Aries. You did everything in your mind to try to please this person. They always downplayed everything you did like you weren't good enough. That's sad. What's the page of swords, please? And you just got tired of it, quite frankly. You're just like, fuck this shit. I know I'm a good catch, which you are, Aries. You are such a great catch, okay? All right, the... the um. The Page of Swords is the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups again. Oh, not again, sorry. The Five of Cups and then the Three of Pentacles. Somebody really wants to speak to you. And they're really wanting to stand up for this relationship now. They felt also too, Aries, you made this person feel on top of the world. You made this person feel like a celebrity. You did everything to, to like, um, sorry. You made, did, you, you did everything to, um... Make this person feel secure and make some, this person feel like 
a celebrity. Like, literally, the Six of Wands is giving me celebrity status. It wasn't good enough. And now they're feeling bad about the past because they know that you were a good option. You could have been the best option in this person's life. Because of their past relationship, they treated you like you weren't good enough. What's the Ace of Wands for the Five of Cups? Is this the Five of Cups? No, it's the Eight of Cups. Sorry. What's the Ace of Wands for the Eight of Cups? The Fool card. Somebody wants to take a risk and just reach out to you. They want this new beginning and passion with you. Also, too, your sex is, out, like, unmatched. I just want you to know, Aries, your sex is unmatched with this person. They might not even had sex after you, right? So they, they don't have, like, that many options. Maybe their options didn't work out for them. But your sex is unmatched. This person really wants to, you know, reach out to you. Not only because of your sex, but they that's something that's really big to this person. It's like, oh, I thought I was going to be able to just move on from Aries. Like, they could have told you, you're not shit. I can move on from you. It didn't work out. Now you have the Ten of Swords. What's the Ten of Swords for this person? Jesus. In reverse. The Queen of Pentacles, wow. And what else? The Judgment card. So whoever this person thought that they had that was a good option other than you that made them bold enough to tell you about yourself, Aries, that you weren't good enough for them, ended up not being a great option at all. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Also feel like this person is has low self-esteem with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I just have to say. So without you, they don't feel like they're good enough because you're not giving them attention right now. And they have the judgment card. This person wants a second chance. They're very hurt about this. They're very, like, their heart is breaking. You know that song? Um, she's a runner. She's a track star. You know how it starts off? It's like, my heart is breaking. <laughs> my heart is breaking. Ooh. Ooh. My heart is breaking. <laughs> I feel like your person is like, my heart is breaking. Because Aries is a runner. He's a track star. He gonna run away when it gets hard. Okay, so somebody's singing that song for you. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> Somebody's heart is breaking over you. I just want you to know. So in the extended reading, I'm going to talk about how this person feels now that you are going through your awakening and just like fuck them i want to know that then we're going to talk about their current feelings and intentions for you their current thoughts about you and their outcomes so you want to follow me in extended you can do so there's gonna be three links oh sorry three links in the extended reading um the first link is if you just want one and done if you want a body center reading and just be done with it you click the first one if you want to subscribe to get all of your um extended readings for the month which i put push out four extended readings for the month so the the Price is cheaper than buying each one individually. If you feel like you want to do that, then go ahead and go to the second link and find your um, zodiac sign, which is Aries, right? And if you want the third link, the third link gives you all the extended um, for Aries and all the extended for all the other signs out there. So if you want everybody's extended readings for a cheap price, then you're going to click on the third one. You're going to scroll all the way down to Awakened Dreamer. And that's going to give you that option. Is It's a good price, guys. But you guys can check out all three options in the description box and see which one works for you. All right? And if you don't follow me in Ascendant, that's okay. I um, am promising to push out everybody's next 48 during this week. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to get it done. I promise that. So if you're um, interested and you like this reading, if it resonated, if you want to see the next 48 coming out soon, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss it, okay? Anyway, guys, um, make sure you thumbs up the reading if it resonated with you. Comment the moon down below, all right? And also, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on your next 48. If you want a personal reading, all the information is down below. If you want to follow my social media, if you want to um, so if you want to support my candles, it's going to be the first link in the description box below. All right, I'm about to do your extended reading. Then I need to go to bed because I'm getting delirious. I'm like losing my thoughts. But this was a very, very interesting reading. Aries, you guys are so attractive to me right now. The way that you guys are just going through your awakening and going through anything that you want to do is so attractive. And this person is literally missing out and they're watching you achieve all your, achieve all your dreams. And if you don't feel that way now, they will be. Anyway, I'm going to go to extended reading now and I'll see you guys in the next 48 coming out soon. All right, bye-bye.